Former Trump personal lawyer Michael Cohen is in more legal hot water 24 hours after pleading guilty to fraud and campaign finance violations. New York State prosecutors have subpoenaed Cohen as part of a Trump Foundation probe. Meanwhile, President Trump is responding to those guilty pleas. CBS News correspondent Angelica Alvarez has details. For more than a decade, Michael Cohen was President Trump's lawyer and fixer. But on Wednesday, Mr. Trump expressed his sense of betrayal, tweeting, If anyone is looking for a good lawyer, I would strongly suggest that you don't retain the services of Michael Cohen. On Tuesday, Cohen pled guilty to tax evasion and campaign finance violations. He admitted under oath that Mr. Trump directed him to make hush payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels and Playboy model Karen McDougal for the primary purpose of influencing the election. He committed a crime. He should be indicted if he were not president. He clearly would be indicted and jailed. On CBS This Morning, Cohen's lawyer, Lanny Davis, said Cohen also has information that would be of interest to special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation on Russian interference. I can tell you that he has committed 100 percent to telling the truth to governmental authorities. Five of the president's former advisors and associates have been convicted of or pleaded guilty to crimes. But the Michael Cohen case is the first that directly implicates the president in a crime. There are no charges against him in this. Uh, and just because Michael Cohen uh, made a plea deal doesn't mean that that implicates the president on anything. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill reacted to the plea deal. We we'll have to look into this. There's no question about it. This is a serious set of problems. It's a day when the president of the United States has essentially been named an unindicted co-conspirator. But they say it's too early in the process to discuss possible impeachment proceedings. In Washington, Angelica Alvarez, CBS3 Eyewitness News.